So this first girl is the shy girl. She's definitely someone that doesn't appear quite often, but she does on occasion when I'm intimidated or meet new people. She's definitely someone that doesn't want to stand out or get noticed, so I'm using muted shades and simple makeup. We're starting with the shade Ginger, which is the lightest shade in the Jackie Aina palette, and I'm using the Real Techniques Beige Shadow Crease Brush to lay on the product on my eye. We can definitely diffuse this to give it a more natural look, but this is just supposed to add a little bit of definition and character to our eye. Because even when I'm insecure and shy, I'm still someone that wants to look put together. This is probably going to be the easiest look from the entire series mainly because it's going to be using one shade and it's really all about adding shade and dimension to the eye. Then we're going to pick up our pencil brush and dip into the shade Ginger again and we're going to line our lower lash line. I find that this really completes the eye look and just makes things a little bit more polished and when I'm not feeling in my element I definitely want to exude a I'm polished kind of vibe. Then we're going to use our Zoeva 230 Lux Petite Crease and we're going to dip into the shade Soleil which is this gold champagne color as our highlight just to brighten up our eyes. So I went ahead and did the other eye off camera and now we're going to start by curling our lashes. And we're going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I think this one is a really great mascara for opening the eyes and I actually just got this the other day because I wanted to try Charlotte's formula and I'm pretty impressed. I love how the wand is not transferring the mascara to my eye and that's usually one of my biggest problems when I'm trying out mascara. And that's it. This is the final look. Very simple, very easy, and can get you out the door in a few minutes. So this next alter ego is the girl boss. I'd like to think that she appears more often, especially during big presentations, client meetings, or just when I'm working on a project that I'm passionate about. I like to keep my makeup look polished and clean because as a girl boss, I don't want to distract my audience with how I look, and I want them to focus on the quality of my work and the value of what I'm saying. So we want to make sure that our eyeshadow stick no matter what happens and it remains clean and polished all throughout the day. So we're going to be using an eye primer and I'm using the ABH eye primer. Now once primer is on, we can start with our eyeshadow and we're going to be starting with our base which is the shade Ginger. By the way, I was using my Real Techniques Base Shadow Crease Brush for that one. Now we're grabbing our Morphe 506 and dipping that into the shade edges to deepen the outer part of our crease. Now, to diffuse any harsh lines, we're going to be grabbing our Morphe 441 brush and we're going to buff in the harsh lines. Once you're happy with the general shape, we're going to get our Zoeva 230 pencil brush and we're going to dip it into a mix of ginger and edges. These two shades are actually two of my favorite matte shades. They blend like a dream and 
I feel like I'm gonna run through them really quickly because I find myself gravitating towards them for every eye look. Then we're going to be using a new mascara that I'm trying, which is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eye Mascara. Oh wow. This is the longest I've seen my lashes without any falsies. I'm so impressed. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but wow. Then we're going to add a bit of winged liner because I find that winged liner has a powerful aura to it. I don't know what it is, but I just really like doing winged liners when I want to look powerful. And that's the look we're going for. So I'm using the K palette one day tattoo eyeliner in black and we're going to be mapping out our wing. We're also going to be using this to tight line And I love this eyeliner for tight lining. Even if it's a liquid, when your eyes get watery, it doesn't transfer and give you raccoon eyes. So that's really great. So I like how this look is turning out so far, but we're going to make our eyes look even more awake and wide with a little bit of sparkle. So we're going to get our Zoeva 231 Lux Petite Crease and actually use this to add sparkle in our inner corner. So I'm going to be dipping into the shade Soleil. Then to make sure everything's well blended, we're going back in with our Real Techniques Base Shadow Crease Brush and with no extra powder, we're just going to rub that in again. All right, then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And this is the finished look. A lot of warm browns and golds that can really take you from your desk to a presentation. So this next alter ego is the star. She's not a star yet, but she has this undeniable it factor that comes from being confident and comfortable in her own skin. She loves to experiment and reinvent herself because life is what you make of it, so might as well love who's looking back in the mirror and reach for the stars or die trying. So I already have my eye primer on, so we're going to dip into our first shade, which is the shade Supreme. And I'm using my Morphe M433 brush to dip into this shade. Next, we're going to grab our Morphe M506 and we're going to dip into the shade Pinker and deepen our crease. A lot of people say that this palette reminds them of the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction palette and I feel like it's a bit different but I really have been enjoying using this eyeshadow palette and I definitely recommend for you to purchase, especially if you're one to want to get out of your comfort zone and try more colorful eye looks. You can definitely do a lot of nude and everyday looks, but I think this palette is very versatile and congrats to Jackie for really hitting it out of the park. Next, we're going to get our Morphe M152 brush and we're going to dip into the shade Wigglies and put that in the outer corner of our eye as well. Then we got our Butte Basic Brush and put a little bit of eye primer because we're going to put some glitter on the first part of our eye. Now we're grabbing our Morphe M124 brush and we're dipping that into the shade Zam 
this is a really nice foiled shade i want to be a little bit precise with my application because this is the shade with the most fallout in the palette we're going to dip back in with our finger to intensify the look we're also going to go back in with a little bit of wigglies on the outer corner so nice then to close off the eye look we're going to get the brush that came with the palette and we're going to dip that into the shade pinker and extend it to the inner part of our eye a lot of people actually say the brushes that comes with palettes don't perform really well but i really like this i mean it's not as scratchy as i expected it to be and it's really functional and then for our inner corner we're going to grab our zoeva 231 Lux petite crease and we're going to dip into the shade trust issues oh wow that is pigmented and that's it for our eye. We're going to go ahead and repeat this on the other eye before we put any mascara or eyeliner. All right, so this is the finished look with some lashes and eyeliner on. I have to say, this might be my favorite look from the series. The glitter and sparkle is divine. This next alter ego is the artist. She's still living with her parents and she's trying to make the most out of this awesome situation. She's also a bit hipster and isn't want to jump on every trend and she's the same with her makeup looks. So I already put my eye primer on and we're going to start with probably my favorite shade in this palette which is the shade Ginger. Next, we're going to grab our Morphe 506 brush and dip into the shade Credit and deepen the sides of the crease. Ooh. Wow, that's pigmented. This color is going to be really nice as a shadow liner because of how pigmented it is. We're going to dip our 506 brush into the shade Ginger once again and we're going to lighten up our lower lash line then we're going to grab our morphe 441 brush again and diffuse any harsh lines next we're going to grab our butte basics flat shader brush and we're going to lighten the inner part of our eye once that's laid on, we're going to dip in probably one of my most favorite shades in this palette, which is Sponsored. We're going to use our middle finger for the most payoff. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. I can't stop staring at it. Wow. I'm going to add a little bit more in the center of my eye to make it pop. Then I'm going to go back in with my 506 and dip into the shade Credit just lightly so we can deepen the outer part of our eye. Next, we're going to grab our Zoeva pencil brush and dip into the shade Ginger and a mix of edges and smoke it out to the inner part of our eye. Now, grabbing that same pencil brush, we're going to dip into the shade Sponsored and we're going to put it in the inner part of our eye. I can't believe I forgot to highlight my inner corner, so I'm grabbing my Zoeva 231 brush and dipping into the shade Trust Issues. And this is the final look without any mascara. I think it's really pretty and it's not something I would normally wear or do, but I really like it. Then for my mascara, we're going to be using my favorite drugstore mascara, which is Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And we're going to add some drama. So 
so I just love how voluminous my lash looks and we're going to go ahead and do that in the other eye. And that's it. This is the finished look with mascara on both lashes and I'll zoom you guys out to see the final look. So that's it. This is the final look for the artiste alter ego. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create each and every alter ego because I definitely did. It took me a ton of time but it was so worth it because I really got to play around with the Jackie Aina palette and I mean I love everything about this palette from the packaging if you can see the different shifts of the packaging and playing around with the colors. They were not only superb quality, especially for matte, they blended very well. None of them were patchy and the shimmery and metallic colors are sickening. Like it was such a joy to just touch them and put them in my eye and see how they perform. And the colors performed even better as the day went on. So this is a palette that I truly truly recommend because it's not only a joy to use, a joy to look at, but it also performs really well. She actually made this for darker skin tone girls, but people with my skin tone or even with lighter skin tones you can create a lot of versatile looks. You can go from neutral everyday looks to your office to a party look or to an a very very artistic look. I mean the possibilities are endless. It's a palette that I constantly think about and grab every time I want to do my makeup which is when I shoot a YouTube video. I have nothing but good words to say about this palette so I definitely recommend you guys pick it up. If you guys live in the Philippines you can get it from one of the Shopee resellers that I talked about in my previous video which I'll link up top and you guys better get your hands on it because this is actually not a permanent palette in ABH. It's I think a limited edition and it's been out for a little over a year now so so I suggest you guys get this palette before you miss out on the opportunity because it's truly a very very good palette to have in your collection. Before we end this video if you guys really enjoyed watching this or you have any feedback or comments please don't hesitate to smash that like button down below and leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because it would truly mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!